Today we'll be talking about R3 high speed Ticat drive. I have an R2 AA0401 motor. I have a step up 200 volt transformer. I have a PC interface cable, mini USB to USB. I have two power connections, one for main input power, one for control power. This drive can be used both in single phase and three phase. So RST for three phase. I am only using connections in R and T for single phase. Small R and Smart T is for your control power. And your last two connections would be RB1 and RB2, which is your regenerative resistor. And your ground connected to the chassis of the drive. Before we connect motor and motor power cable and motor encoder cable, we need to change some parameters in the drive to match the motor we are using. So here is the PC interface connection. This is EtherCAT in and out. CN2 is for input and output. CN4 is for your sa STO, safety torque off function. EN1 is for your encoder cable. EN2 is for your external encoder cable. CN3 is for your battery backup for your absolute encoder. So once you have connected your main input power and your control power, you can initialize the drive. And as you can see, I have an alarm here. Um, I will show you how to diagnose your alarms using the PC interface cable and using sand motion motor setup. Once you have connected your PC interface cable, you could open sand motion motor setup. You could download the software from my website. As you can see, there's an RS3 high speed ethercat drive there. Select add access, select connect. Once this dot has turned green, you could close this tab. On the left hand side, we have different tabs. Communication, parameter, monitor, diagnose, test operation, servo tuning, measurements. We'll go down to parameter tab, select each group. I would need to change a few parameters before we could connect the motor and run the motor as well. So, first one would be main circuit power input type. Default, it is three phase. I'm using single phase, so we'll change that parameter. If you are using three phase, you do not need to change this parameter. Now we'll go down to motor parameter, select from the list. Depending on the input voltage and the size of your drive, you have different drop down menus. Um, so you can select the motor you're using. I have a 200 volt 10 amp drive and I'm using an R2AA04010F motor. Select OK. Now I need to ensure my motor code matches in my system. So 0183 is my motor code. Go back to system. Go down to where it says combined motor code and ensure it matches my motor code. Select OK. Now to go down to where it says battery backup absolute encoder function selection. Default it is absolute system. I'm using an incremental system and select OK. If you're using absolute system, again, you do not need to change that parameter. Now, depending on the encoder resolution, so our most common encoders would be our P type, R type, and S type. So you would have to change this parameter as well. Um, any additional setting parameters you need to change you could do that accordingly and once you are done you write an amplifier after you have write an amplifier you could close this tab double click where it says access one select ok and shut off the drive to connect the motor once you have turned off your power you're ready to connect your motor power cable and motor encoder cable so motor encoder cable goes connected to EN1 just like that and motor power cable UVW, U is for red, P is for white, W is for black. It was connected just like that. And the ground connected to the chassis of the drive. Once you have connected the motor, you could turn the drive back on. Once you have connected, you can see that there's no, no more alarms on the drive. Double click where it says axis one, and it should connect automatically. Now we go down to diagnose if you have another alarm, select alarm history and you could verify you have no more alarms. You close this tab as you can see I have no more alarms. If you do you can select diagnose and the software will give you options of how to fix your alarm. Close it, go to test operation, drag operation, select OK and here we're going to change the velocity, select edit, I'm start at 100. RPMs, change the acceleration, deceleration, select decision, select servo on, and you can go positive direction, negative direction, positive direction. As you can see here, torque monitor, velocity monitor, and present position monitor 
values change. Select edit one more time. Go down, go up to fifteen hundred RPMs. Change acceleration, deceleration one more time. Select decision. Select positive, negative. As you can see, there was a velocity change. And once you're done, you can select servo off. And this completes your RS3 high-speed Decat drive setup.